coming up on Network Africa. Security forces killed Somalia's youngest government minister after mistaking him for an Islamist militant. Libyans welcome a new diplomatic agreement reached between rival leaders. And it seems more still needs to be done in terms of food aid for Nigerian territories recaptured from Boko Haram insurgents. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Jocker Rogers. Somalia is mourning the death of a 31-year-old government minister, Abdullahi Sheikh Abbas, shot dead by security forces who mistook him for a militant Islamist. Officials say he was killed in his vehicle near the presidential palace in Mogadishu, the capital. President Mohamed Abdullahi Famayo has reportedly cut short his trip to Ethiopia following the shooting. Abbas grew up in a refugee camp and became Somalia's youngest member of parliament in November and a minister in February. Somalia has been mired in conflict since 1991. It's currently battling militant Islamists from the al Shabaab group, which is affiliated to Al-Qaeda. In North Africa, Libyans in Tripoli and Benghazi have welcomed an agreement between Eastern military commander uh, Khalifa Haftar and the head of the UN-backed government, Fayez Sarraj. Rival Libyan camps broke the ice in Abu Dhabi on Tuesday, ending a 16-month standoff that has undermined diplomatic efforts to unify a country ripped apart by factional fighting since 2011. Both sides issued separate statements on Wednesday promising to calm tensions in southern Libya and fight terrorism but offering no shared way forward for a political deal to unify the country. Analysts, however, say Tuesday's meeting could be a step towards ending a stalemate between competing loose alliances that push the country into open warfare in 2014. Meanwhile, the International Organization for Migration says it's still trying to repatriate thousands of African migrants who face kidnap, forced labor and torture in Libya. In April this year, the IOM said that migrants are bought and sold in modern-day slave markets in the Libyan city of Saba, which is run by large smuggling rings looking to profit from migrants. Libya is the main gateway for migrants attempting to reach Europe by sea, with more than 150,000 people making the crossing each year. Gambian returnee Buba Fabare was one of 169 migrants to be repatriated from Libya on April 4th this year. He was caught by the police in Tripoli and returned to the International Organization for Migration who helped him go back home. But before Tripoli, he was stuck like thousands of other West Africans in Libya's Sabha city, where migrants hoping for a better future in Europe are sold, tortured, and turned into slaves in a lawless and place held by Libyan militia they call Gone Town. The hardship begins on the journey itself after paying smuggling agents to organize their trip to Tripoli in Libya to take a boat to Europe. The migrants travel through several countries to Agadez, the migrant launch pad in Niger. If your agent don't, uh, do not pay the, the driver, the driver will take you to these Nigerians and sell you to the, them. So if you sell one person to them, like 1,000 dinar, 1,000 dinar, then after that, the man, the owner of the, the, owner of the prison, prison will charge you 2,500 dinar or 2,700 dinar. Some pay the agents in Agadez, others in their home country, but either way, the journey is paid to agents before they cross into Libya. Along the way, they are stopped at checkpoints where officials and some men take more cash from them in Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger and Libya at the final checkpoint. At the entrance to Sabha, all the money they have left is usually stripped away. You treat like a slave. 
it was Libyan if they see black man they cover their nose. Why? Some will not shake hands with you. Even in the mosque, some will not stand beside you. Some will not even allow you to enter in the mosque. The 27-year-old says Libyans in Sabha, who are all armed, have found other ways of exploiting the migrants who seek day work to pay the money they owe from being sold, as well as to save up for the journey to Tripoli. Many of those who employ them for day work refuse to pay for their labor. The IOM says about half of the migrants it helped move back last year were held in Libya's